Hey guys, Raphael here, amigos, aquí Rafael. Uh, so this video is a quick video on how I do spatter using an airbrush. Como hago yo las pequitas utilizando el aerografo. Uh, I used to do a brush, siempre, oh, and I still do, uh, depending on the project. Uh, siempre he usado brochas o pinceles, uh, y todavía lo uso, pero ahorita he usado un aerografo para hacer las pequitas. Uh, I started using the airbrush because when I do smaller projects the airbrush has its own uh, little valve pressure valve that you control and that works great. Uh, el que uso para cosas pequeñas <coughs> es un nuevo aerografo que tiene su válvula de, para controlar la presión uh, y eso es mucho mejor. But if they're bigger projects I, I still use the uh, brush. Para proyectos más grandes si sí utilizo este um, uh, pinceles. So let me show you uh, what I use and what I used to use uh, as for airbrush. Okay, so this is the airbrush I've always used and I love using this. Este es el que siempre he usado eh, y me ha encantado en el pasado. It's the Iwara HPC Plus. Es el Iwara H... Ay, HPC Plus. And these are actually, you know, more expensive. As you can see here, actually, they kind of went down a bit. Uh, son más caros. Aquí, como pueden ver, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, $189. $189. Of course, they used to be uh, $267. Antes eran $263. So they're pretty close to, you know, $300. Uh, casi están cerca de $300. I've always used that one in all my projects. Siempre he usado ese en mis proyectos. But... I found this other airbrush which I have used in the past uh, three projects. Encontré otro otro aerógrafo que he usado en los últimos tres proyectos. And that's this guy. But somehow, as you can see, como ven, no hay nada de nombre. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. There's no name on it. So. I got this in Amazon, well, I got it in Amazon, and it's right here. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's, uh, I don't know if I can pronounce this right, no sé si lo puedo pronunciar bien. Pin, pin Kui, or Pin Kui, Double Action Airbrush. 35 bucks, 35 dollars, bueno, 36 dollars. Uh, so it's pretty cheap for 36 bucks. For $36, and it comes with the valve uh, uh, pressure. The, 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 you control it from here, the pressure. Y es lo que me gustó. Viene con la válvula de controlar la presión. Uh, again, $35. I've done three projects with it. So far, so good. Y por el momento, está bien. He utilizado tres proyectos. Uh, so this is a, what it looks like here. Amazon. 36 bucks, 36 dollars. Okay, so if I was going to do a big project, si iba a hacer un proyecto, like full size right here, como tamaño natural, what I would use for spatter is a chip brush. Eso es lo que utilizaría. You mix up your color, kind of translucent, casi transparente. And I got two colors here test just to give you an idea. Tengo dos colores más para darles una idea. And I just get a chip brush. Okay, put it on the brush. Now one thing is going to happen here since it's paper. Lo que va a pasar ya que es papel. I might get big blotches that I don't want. Uh, but the paper is going to soak it in. So I won't be able to take them off with my finger or with another brush. On the bus you'll be able to take away the big blotches you don't want. En el papel voy a tener tal vez unas manchas más grandes de que no quiero, pero el papel lo va a absorber, entonces no va a poder quitarlos. Pero en el busto uh, pueden quitarlo con el dedo o, o con una brocha para quitar las cosas que no quieren muy grandes. Uh, so, this is just to give you an idea. Es nada más para darles una idea. So, I got some paint on here. And you want to just dab it. Now, see these big blotches? Ven estos grandes? Those are the ones I would take off. Esos son los que yo quitaría. But I would try to keep all these little ones. Medium sized ones. And I would go in with a different color. And same thing. Just spatter. 
See, those are good. Those are good sizes. Those are one of the tamaños. See that? And you do that with all the colors to build up layers para crear uh, capas. Now, for smaller projects, we'll use the airbrush. Para pequeños proyectos, usaremos el aerógrafo. I drew a circle there. Hopefully, it focuses on there. Hice un círculo a ver si se enfoca ahí. All right, again, like I said, I close it all the way and I open it little by little. Y lo abro poco a poco. Now, here, you have some. Here. And that's what you want. Any bigger ones, you would take away with a brush. Let me use some red. Vamos a hacer un poquito de rojo. Again, I close it all the way. Lo cierro todo. And I open it up until I get what I want. Y lo voy abriendo hasta que agarre lo que, lo que quiero. There you go. And I keep doing that with all the colors. Now, on the last video I put, in the ultimo video que puse, the Kylo Ren one quarter scale, I didn't use this. I actually, well, I used this, but I did it from far, so I opened it all up and made them smaller in the sense of uh, just, I closed it. Look, lo empecé a cerrar. Yeah, it's a matter of practicing. That's why I still need practice. So it's more of a spray. I got un poco de spray, and I left it from. I, I did it from way far back. So that one was from back here. And it, it kind of gave you little speckles. You can't see them here. Let me try the blue. No se ven muy bien ahí. So let's try some blue. See, it's more of a spray. Yeah, it's como un spray. But by pulling the airbrush back, probably about 15 inches back, I would spray it. And it worked out okay. Y si resultó bien, como 16 pulgadas hacia atrás. But I still prefer. And that was just a test. Yes, era nada más una prueba. But I still prefer get close and prefer doing it like this. Mil veces así. I prefer this instead for the small projects. It's a lot better. Para los proyectos más chicos es mucho mejor. But again, this is what I use for for the spatter with an airbrush. You have to have one of these guys. Tienen que tener uno de estos que que lo puedan controlar aquí para poder agarrar las pequitas. Anyway, guys, so I hope uh, that was, you know, good enough explanation. Uh, if not, you know, let me know. Ojalá me entendieron. Y si no, pues uh, pregúntenme, por favor. Um, again, like I said, this one, Amazon, 35 bucks. All right, guys, till next time. Hasta la próxima.